What's going on everyone? Welcome on into today's video. We are diving into the screener or the scanner feature here on TradingView. We'll leave a link to TradingView in the pinned comment and video description box down below if you have not signed up or you want to check it out for yourself. There's a free version. There's also paid versions. We're using the pro version here, but let's dive on into it. They also do 30 day free trials, so it's great to test things out. So I'm on the home page, right? Come to this page, you type in tradingview.com, you're gonna get to a page like this unless they change this going forward. So we'll see, but that's what we got. You may think to yourself, okay, well, where's the screener? I look on the right-hand side, I see an alarm clock. If I start hovering over some of these features, I'm not seeing a screener right here. And yes, that's true. You are not gonna see it there. It's not gonna show up there, at least for right now. You gotta go over to the product section. I have chart, screeners, heat maps. Okay, so this is where you want to dive into. It's actually really cool. Heat maps are kind of cool. It's kind of a fun little um, heat map, similar to finviz.com if you're familiar with that. Um, how stocks have done today. You can kind of sort the time frames, all that stuff. Screeners, same thing as a scanner essentially for us to screen for stocks that we want to buy or we want to sell, want to trade, short, long, options, all that good stuff. Okay, so you can even do it for Forex or crypto. In this example, we're going to use stocks. Um, as I would imagine, that's probably where the majority of people are going to go. But then again, you could still do this for Forex and crypto too. So we'll start with stock and, and essentially kind of cover the basics here. You're going to get to a page that looks like this. Okay, you see we're kind of sorted by market cap right now. If I double click or if I click on one of these categories, it'll sort by that category. So right now it has market capitalization and it is sorting essentially from largest to smallest. Okay as of right now. Now, this will change as stocks trade over time, but these are going through some of the largest companies right now on the stock market, okay? And you can sort this differently. Really, if you want to sort by the most volume, I can go here and just type in or just click on the volume and it will sort by the most volume. Uh, it really comes down. It will go off the last trading day or, or current trading day that you're looking at right now. So it depends. It's up to you on how you want to sort things after the fact. We'll start with market cap right now. Then we'll dive into um, how we can customize this, okay? So we're here. There's a lot of stuff. There's an overview. There's performance, extended hours, valuation. You can look at so many different things, okay? But for most people, they want to figure out, okay, how can I scan for specific stocks? Like, I want to look for stocks that fit my criteria that I like, right? Okay, great. Let's dive into it. I want to go to filters, okay, on the right-hand side. Click on adjust filters. I'm gonna start off, I could reset what we have. They've given me a couple filters already. I can reset this. Um, it's probably gonna work just fine. I might go to any for symbol type. Uh, I might go to exchange and just, if I wanted to go to OTC stocks, I don't. Uh, but if you wanted to look at OTC stocks, you can do that too. In this case, I'm gonna leave with the three they have selected already. That's gonna cover our basis. OTCs, a lot more volatile, a lot cheaper stocks, generally speaking. So, it, and there's a lot less volume for the most part, at least right now in the OTC, it's, it came off a very, very hot period, but it's, it's, it's essentially dead for now, okay? It's dead until it's not, that's what they say, right? Guys, there's so much. I mean, there, I mean this is insane. This is a, one of the best screening features or platforms you're gonna be able to get access to. This is why I highly recommend checking it out, at least giving yourself a free trial and seeing if it's worth it for you um, or just using this the free features as well. So there is so much to scroll down through. We're looking at all. Um, if I go to descriptive, it will essentially take me and, and narrow into descriptive features. So things that I can easily say, okay, I want stocks that have this much volume or more, right? That's the deal. Um, I want stocks that have this price or higher. I want stocks that trade on the Dow Jones. I want stocks that trade on the NASDAQ. I want stocks that trade on the Russell 2000. I want stocks that trade on the NASDAQ biotech. This is what you would kind of be diving through. Okay. So let's say you're looking for biotechs. Boom. You can start looking at different indexes. You can look at different countries. Where are these stock, Where are these companies headquartered? Where are they from? Right. They might trade on the US markets, but they might be located in China or they might be located in Australia. You know, who knows? They can be located anywhere. Right. So maybe there's a certain um, trend in the markets and Chinese stocks are going crazy. Well, that might make sense to go look at Chinese stocks, right? If that's what you're looking at. Um, Pre-market close, pre-market volume, post-market high, post-market open, last price. This is all very, very helpful. If I want to change this to, let's say, last price, that is currently below, equal to crosses up, crosses down, between, outside. There is so much stuff I can look at, guys. And it's not just like, oh, last price. Uh, above or equal to, you know, 10 bucks. No, 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 no. I go to value right here, guys. 
I can go and make that last price equal to a simple moving average, exponential moving average, so many different indicators, which is why this is a really cool platform. And to be honest, guys, there's so much here that it's not possible to cover everything in the video, right? The best thing to do is to kind of test things out, try different stuff yourself. We're kind of walking through essentially what you need to know. So you can customize this however you would like. Click on the little um, little reset or refresh button and it will kind of delete things and you can refill that category if you would like to. But that's essentially descriptive. Uh, I can go to different sectors right here, which could be very, very useful. Um, let's say I want to go into the, let's see, what, what, what sectors want? Let's go to the um, utility sector. Okay, cool. Now we only have utilities companies. Let's say I want to look at stocks that have a market capitalization. Let's scroll this bar over on the right hand side. I want at least they got to have a $2 billion market cap or more. I don't want to look at stocks under a two. I don't want to look at small caps here. I want to look at large mid to large caps. That's the deal. Uh, I want volume over the past 10 days to be over, let's say 100,000 shares on average, maybe that, you know, maybe even higher, but at a minimum, uh, I want average volume over the past 60 days to be the same thing over 100,000 shares. Relative volume could be useful. I I'm going to leave that open for now. Maybe, you know, I have enough stuff here already. Okay, cool. Maybe there's more here that I want to dive through, but I I'm, I'm not going to dive too deep there. Let's go into financials. Now in the financial section right here, I mean, here's where we can get juiced up and, and go. We can look at debt. We can look at things like their margins, their gross margins, their net margin. We can look at EBITDA. We can look at things like return assets. We can look at so much stuff, revenue. So if I'm looking at stocks and I'm like, hey man, like, I don't know what stocks, I mean, I know I want, you know, to look at this, these different things. I want to find stocks that actually have revenue. I don't want to buy small caps. I don't want to buy companies with no revenue that are just kind of hype companies. And especially in the market we're in right now, right? I don't want to do that. Well, guess what? Make sure you go in here, total revenue. We got to be talking, you guys got to be talking at least 50 mil for me to even take a peek at you, right? And so I can adjust that, right? For the full year, FY full year. So I can adjust things like that. That might be useful for me. Um, if I'm looking at, let's say small caps, large caps might not be as big. Deal. Maybe I want to have certain, you know, revenue requirements. I want to have a higher revenue. Um, maybe I want profits. Profits got to be, hey, we got to have a, we got to have a profitable company here. We can't be negative. We got to have a profitable company. So I might go here and go to gross profits of 50, I might go to negative 50 million or more. Um, we'll have to sort through a couple of those maybe, or, or I can even go to 50 million or more. Let's go to 50 million profits. Boom. Now I got, you know, on the left-hand side, so, you know, it's tough to see, but it will tell you ticker. And then it will have under the ticker, it will say how, however many matches. So right now I have 58 matches right now. If I go over to, let's say I want to look at net income. I want that to be positive. Okay. So I'll do the same thing. Now I have 50 matches and we can kind of start walking our way down and, and narrowing this list in. Great, there's so much more here. We can look at liabilities, we can look at assets, number of shareholders, gross profits, all these great things. Great, I don't want much debt. Maybe I wanna look at things like price to free cash flow, all of these price to sales ratios. These are very, very useful, right? So now I wanna go to look at technical indicators. I wanna see that this stock has to be certain, has to have certain requirements for me to trade it, right? Let's say, you know, for me to invest in it, maybe. It's got to be down on the year. Let's say this. A lot of stocks have been down this year. This stock needs to be at a certain price on the year. It needs to be below, let's say, a value of 10% uh, on the year, right? So I don't want something that's been, you know, already up a good bit, potentially, right? Change in the past, percent change in the past one month. Maybe I want to look at stocks that have been hit the hardest over the past one month, right? And I can look and sort through there. Change in the past one minute, that's, you know, day trade type stuff you'd be looking at, but it could be useful. Um, relative strength index, I can look at that as well. The relative strength index I can look at, I can look at, are we talking about a new all-time high? How many tickers? No tickers match that because the market's been a little bit choppy from now. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a new one month high. Any stocks that match? Yeah, 13 stocks. Now we have 13 stocks that have relative momentum to the upside right? That's using a technical indicator. We have a bunch of filters when it comes to financials and descriptions as well. And now I got a list guys. If I click on the X right here, I got a list of 13 stocks from here. I can go into each individual stock and start playing around and start seeing what I like to, and start looking at, you know, what these stocks have to offer their charts, all that good stuff. We can sort by technical ratings right now. We're sorting by market cap. Okay. So I can change that to stocks that maybe have the best technical rating, the best price to earnings or the, the, the highest price to earnings ratio. So I can look at a bunch of different things um, that might, you know, be useful to me. 
um, even employees. I can even go here to the column setup, little three dots, and I can change. There's look at how much stuff you can add, guys. There's so there's so much stuff here. You can add so many different columns to this that might fit your needs. This is just the basics. You know, right now it's basically. And you can also search. I want to search to like let's say volatility or volume. Well, I type in vol and I have, a, you know, it starts to narrow in my search right there, which is useful. So these are the basics that they're going to kind of give you, but you can customize that as well. Uh, and I would highly recommend you do so because it's very, very useful. So that is the screening feature here on TradingView in a nutshell. Let us know your thoughts on this. If you have any thoughts, questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to get back to you guys there. Uh, any other links, resources, we'll leave them in the video description box down below. The trading view links will be down there. We'll leave a link to a webinar covering three trading signals to even add to your arsenal. That can be very, very helpful. It's a free webinar. Check it out. And we will see you guys in a future video. Make sure that thumbs up button. If you got some value out of here, consider subscribing for more videos like this and check out our playlist. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.